Hi, welcome to Wes Wheels North America YouTube channel. My name is Jim Wang. Today we're going to show you how to properly install your air valve stand to your favorite wet sport wheels. The tools you need to make this installation is just a 13 millimeter box wrench. I also like to use a air valve core tool. The air valve tool um, Air valve core tool uh, is fairly inexpensive and is actually pretty handy. Before the installation, I generally like to take the valve stems apart. As you see, it's all laid out here. You have your base valve stem, lower grommet, upper grommet, washer, lock nut, and the air valve cap. You want to make sure to examine the rubber grommets are in good condition. There's no rip or cuts in them before installation. First I like to do is take the other uh, valve stem, the main stem, and use the other uh, air valve core tool and simply insert it and just to tighten, make sure the other uh, air valve core is uh, inserted and seated properly and, uh, and tight. Then you want to take the other uh, first grommet, notice that the grommet has a step to it. You want to make sure the, uh, the wider um, area goes into the goes onto the stem first looking like that now you simply insert it to the wheel you want to make sure it's actually properly seated now taking the second grommet now you're going to have the smaller side facing down on the stem so it's this way you can actually create a positive seal then you simply just add the, uh, the washer and the lock nut. Go ahead and just hand thread it. Now you want to use the, uh, the 13 millimeter box wrench. You want to make sure not to over tighten the, um, the nut because you don't want to compress the, uh, the rubber too much. Slight bulge is okay, but you don't want to compress it too much where it often will cause crack um, and damages to the, uh, to the rubber grommets. And last but least, once it's done, put the air valve cap on. It's important that you actually use an air valve cap to keep the debris um, off the, uh, the air core. Uh, a lot of the time debris gets trapped in the, uh, the core and it will cause a leak. Now that the air valve stem is uh, properly installed onto the wheel and you are ready to head to your favorite tire shop and get your tires mounted. Thank you very much for watching Wes Wheels North America YouTube TV.